So it seems like Wuthering Waves has released another character showcase. This time it's Ling Yang. You know who that is? It's literally gaming from Genshin. They just ripped him off. And it looks like they tried to make a complete furry of him, but then they just decided to make him a half furry. Only giving him those ears, I guess. Anyways, let's play that shit. It's your first performance ever, Ling Yang. You ready for this? Yep. Holy <laughs> shit. These poles are way taller than what we practiced on. And this one's for our troops. Can't afford to mess up. Look at this shit. It's literally just gaming, bro. <laughs> it's literally just a reskin. Oh, shit. I guess gaming's just better, guys. What is going on here? On your feet, Ling Yang. Oh, shit. It's... Master Ugwe. I mean, shit, they got the Sakura blossoms and everything, man. Doubting yourself already. Yeah, Master, gaming. I... Well, while gaming has daddy issues, his ripoff counterpart in Watering Waves is actually training. Why did you become a lion dancer? A lion it's dance. time to think about it. Yeah, why did you, gaming? Holy shit, it's Mantis. Humans, they confuse me. Oh no. Hunt, run, no. hunt again. Not another sea dream, guys. I act guys. on instinct, like all animals do. Ah, so you consider yourself an animal. That's really all great, you know. Not another fucking bipeds. razor, man. They keep what? doing extra things. <laughs> what is a biped? <laughs> ah, I see. Don't help them survive. <laughs> well, obviously. Me sitting here doesn't help me survive, man. Play with us? us playing Watering Waves doesn't help You're Jack. Not... Are you two videos not gonna fucking do shit? You're not scared of me? Why scared of you? They talk just like you, man. Different. They're just like you. The you power of friendship. It's gonna scare off all the bad guys. And we're gaming now, boys. <laughs> the furry got accepted into society, guys. This is incredible. Holy shit. That's what I'm talking about, man. Whoa. Man, gaming has really earned a reputation for himself after all these years. It, it's a true shame. It's, out. It's, a, it's a real shame his Genshin counterpart isn't that popular, you know? His Genshin counterpart is sort of a pussy who runs away from his fucking family, bro. I already knew. It's almost time for his solo. Lin Yang! He'll make it. Oh, what a fucking badass. Holy shit. I'll be honest. Anyone with these fuck anyone with this music is gonna be a fucking badass. Like, <laughs> there's no way. What the fuck? This shit is actually fire, man. Holy damn. Courage to crush any fear. That is insane. Got some moves, man. This guy got some fucking moves for sure. The show that is awesome. Is just beginning. Absolutely lit. Yeah, what are you gonna do, man? We got fucking gaming 2.0 here. Beat his ass. Fuck him up. Yep. Aerial combat because Genshin is never gonna have that. Genshin could never, man. Kick his ass. Fuck him up. Every step. Holy Every shit, this is actually incredible. Costumes, my second skin now. Wow. The way they went into the 2D dimension, like, what the fuck? A nice concert, man. I'll keep the spirit burning. A nice always concert. Have, always will. Wait, no one's watching that? The disrespect, man. What the fuck? Especially because he's kind of a badass. He's not beta like the other one, you know? Ha, that's just my opinion though. Hey man, I gotta be honest, even if he is a furry, he's pretty cool man, he's pretty badass. Seems like he's a lot less beta compared to gaming himself. I gotta give credit what credit's due guys. Anyways, it seems like they actually changed their voice. I don't know what it was before, but it seems like people really love it now. 
And I would honestly have to agree, it's a pretty good voice. Don't know what his old one was, but I'm sure it was pretty shit when everyone out here is praising them for changing it. Anyways, I really wanted to show you this Twitter user who absolutely despises all men. Ew, how do some of you like him? Referring to the bald guy, of course, or otherwise known as the T-word. Because they're all just like him. Birds of a feather and all that. I unfollowed pretty much all the male Genshin CCs when the last Tecto drama happened because they really all expose the insane amount of toxic masculinity in the Genshin space. Yes, believe me, all men are evil. They hate us lesbians, they hate us. But here's the kicker, guys. I couldn't stand watching a lot of Genshin CCs because most of them gave me those vibes. I can't believe I was right most of the time. Who else is horribly like Tecton? The ones I unfollowed were Brax, Atsu, and one more whose name I don't remember. Bitch, Brax didn't do Jack. He's the literal opposite of what you hate. Well, let's continue. Atsu and Brax were inserting themselves into the callout when it wasn't necessary. Yeah, it definitely wasn't necessary when you were getting fucking ostracized. Yeah, definitely not. Of course, when you have the IQ of a rat, you probably don't know what the word empathy means, but it's fine. I stuck with envy because he has been anti-tecto from the start. Oh, man. No fucking way you just said that. No fucking way these people are this fucking retarded. Oh man. You mean the guy who has emotional breakdowns on stream because he was offered money to congratulate him for clearing 36 star abyss with a heart rate monitor on. The same guy who went, I should be the only motherfucker getting praise for being free to play while he plays Genshin 8 hours a day. Also, you got the quote wrong. I should be the only motherfucker getting praise in the Genshin community because I don't spend money on Genshin Impact. I mean, the fact that they're still subscribed to Envy and Umsub from all the other great content creators really goes to show how smart of a person we're really dealing with, honestly. Praise be to the one who ate a Tectone from the start, our savior, Enviosity. There's bigger shit going on in the fucking world than three fucking fates, all right? Just look at this shit. People shipping Kalos and Robin simply being in the same room together explains why every single time I was alone with a male anywhere, they just were like, oh, you're dating, what the fuck? I stopped inviting males into my room after that. Yes, you absolute reject. People are gonna be suspicious of that if you invite people to your own fucking room. It's really not that deep, you know. Robin can't be a lesbian man, because she's interacting with Kalos in the newest shorts. Sure, but the entire purpose of that comparison is just to give y'all a taste of your own medicine. Lesbians can interact with men and it not be romantic. Not all of us hate men, Lamal. Not all of us. Well, I do. I hate them all. Well, I can't even remember when I last spoke to a man outside of a professional setting like a doctor plumber kind of situation. I think it was at least 10 years ago. I had to insert that info in there just to tell you how much of a social reject I am. Most of my life, I was just indifferent to gender as all. So I was friends without discriminating. 2014 onwards, cis people start becoming increasingly violent towards queerness and trans women people in particular. I stopped being indifferent after that. Yeah, it's totally not y'all becoming violent. No, it's definitely the straight people's fault, man. Gotta just shift the blame onto the straights. As the other weirdo put it, I guess. So this person deleted their post within 35 seconds and they still wanted to you know, make fun of this guy for some reason, I guess. Even though they backtracked within a fucking minute, whatever though. Do you not have a dad or want to make family? Apparently your brain isn't bringing outside of the boring, typical nuclear family brainwashing, huh? It is pretty funny how you mentioned the word brain three times, but I know for a fact there's absolutely nothing inside that head of yours. My English and Twitter censorship don't allow me to fully express how I feel and what I think about Techloads tweets, but I swear to fucking god, I really hope he and ones who think like him get to suffer at least half the damage they do. Right back at ya, bitch. The fact that a literal abuse video exists of that POS gaslighting and emotionally torturing his wife actually exists and his insults still the fandom says everything you need to know about his followers and a lot of males in general. All these men are pure evil. How do people still defend him? 
How are people still watching him? I don't get it. Am I not the main character of this world? How are things just not going the way I expect them to be? How is this possible? Man, these people must genuinely lead some sad fucking lives if their entire existence is centered around hating all men. Only quality content here, folks. Subscribe, please.